Does training to failure make you stronger or just more tired? If it doesn't make you tired, you're doing it wrong. But what if stopping short gives you the same result with less fatigue? In 2025, Dr. Brad Schoenfeld and team put that question to a test. Two groups of lifters followed the exact same 30-minute program. Nine exercises, one set per exercise, twice a week. One group trained to failure, the other group stopped two reps short. What's called RIR2, or two reps in reserve. What happened? Both groups gained in size, strength, power, and endurance. But here's where it gets interesting. Muscle hypertrophy, slightly better in the failure group. Strength and muscular endurance, virtually the same. Muscle power, marginally better in the failure group. Recovery time, slightly better in the close to failure group. The takeaways, don't let time be your excuse. Just 30 minutes twice a week benefits muscle, even in train lifters. Training to failure might have a slight hypertrophy edge, but significant gains still happen when stopping just shy. This isn't brand new. Previous meta-analyses show that training to failure is an essential in multi-set programs either. Now we see that a reduced routine may jumpstart muscle repair enough to make up for the fewer reps, but with less exhaustion. So should you train just close to failure? It can maintain or slightly improve your gains even if you're trained, but just may not maximize them. And here's a catch. If you don't know what failure feels like, you won't know where two reps left really is. Learn that first and what's not to like. Minimal time, less fatigue, similar gains. As always, matches come from peer-reviewed research.